Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd discuss the differences between Capture One Express and Capture One Pro. Capture One Express is a free version of uh, Capture One uh, Pro with a reduced set of functionality and it's available for specific cameras. You can get it for Nikon, you can get it for Sony, and you can get it for Fujifilm currently. It's free uh, but you can only edit uh, the raw files from whatever camera you have the version for. So if you have the Nikon version, you can only edit Nikon files. If you have the Sony version, you can only edit Sony files. So if you have all Nikon cameras, uh, it's not a problem. If you have a Nikon and a Sony, uh, you're going to be stuck to editing the raw photos of one or the other. But it's pretty good basic um, photo editing program. Uh, so I thought I'd go over uh, some of the functionality that it has and doesn't have uh, so, so you know the, the uh, differences. Uh, first of all, it has a lot of the basic thing, functionality that is in Capture One. For example, well, you can, uh, you've got white balance, uh, you've got the color editor. It does not have the advanced tabs on some of these functionalities like in color editor there's another advanced tab same with black and white you can create a black and white photo but there's actually another advanced tab on here there's split toning on here and you don't have that on here so they took that functionality out of here uh, the same goes for exposure and contrast uh, you can mess with high dynamic range and uh, you can mess with levels and curves and once again there may be advanced tabs missing from some of these functionalities but the basic functionality is there another major thing that's missing is layers and style brushes which allow you uh, uh, to do changes uh, on another layer and you can turn those layers on and off and basically uh, the style brush does the same thing it creates kind of a style brush layer which is just a mask layer that it acts on uh, and those are very useful uh, tools within Capture One, but they're more advanced tools. Uh, so the other interesting thing about Capture One is if we go over here and we click on this, this is a, a Canon file right here. So this is the Nikon version of Capture One Express. And you can see when we click on this RAW file, we can actually see the Canon RAW file. So it acts as a viewer for other RAW files, but you can't edit them. You can see these levels. We we can't do anything. They're grayed out. Now, if I go over to a JPEG of the previous photo that we had, we can actually do edits on JPEGs as well. Uh, so that's a, a little more functionality on it that you would have. But you kind of need that because if you're going to work on a raw file and uh, convert it to a JPEG, you may need to make uh, adjustments layer on, later on it so that functionality is in there uh, so basically it's a stripped down version of um, uh, Capture One Pro with a bunch of the functionality missing uh, but it uh, it works okay if you have just one brand of camera and you just need some basic editing uh, uh, features also it doesn't have any of the retouch tools on it uh, just to uh, give you another idea there's a, a, a entire list of comparing uh, capture one pro to capture one express and uh, a uh, a lot of the things or not a lot there's a, there's a good deal of the advanced features that are missing for example you can't uh, tether and capture uh, you can't use camera control options. There's no keystone correction in it. There are no layers, which is a big uh, uh, thing for more advanced editing. If you don't have layers in it, um, you can't do certain things or can't do them easy, as easily. There's no noise reduction in it. Uh, let's see what else is there. There's no panorama stitch in the Express version. No style brushes, no spot removal. It does have sharpening in it. 
It does have vignetting. It does have it does have white balance in it. Doesn't have watermarks in it. I'll leave a uh, link to this list in the description of uh, the video in case you want to look at it and look for specific features. Uh, but it's it's very fairly good uh, basic editor. Uh, but the advanced features are missing from uh, from Capture Pro Pro in the Express version, and you can only uh, edit the the uh, raw files of one type of camera, and it can either be a Nikon, a Fuji, or a Sony. Uh, but you can view um, raw files from any camera, I guess that Capture One supports. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.